Let's face it, alcohol is deeply intertwined with human culture. From ancient rituals to modern-day celebrations, it's the life of the party, the social lubricant, the liquid courage in a bottle. But behind its intoxicating allure lies a darker side, a tale of its journey through your body, leaving a trail of consequences in its wake. Buckle up as we delve into the science behind alcohol's effects, exploring the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. This isn't about preaching abstinence. It's about arming you with the knowledge to make informed decisions, to drink responsibly or not at all. We'll unravel the mysteries of alcohol's impact from that initial buzz to its long-term consequences. So grab a non-alcoholic beverage and let's embark on this eye-opening adventure through the world of alcohol and its effects on your body. Think of it as a cautionary tale, a guide to navigating the often misunderstood world of intoxication. The journey begins with that first sip, the moment alcohol hits your tongue. Unlike food, which requires digestion, alcohol starts getting absorbed right away. It slips through the lining of your mouth and esophagus, entering your bloodstream even before reaching your stomach. Once in the stomach, about 20% of the alcohol continues its fast-track absorption. The remaining 80% moves into the small intestine, where it's quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. Several factors influence this absorption rate, including your metabolism, body weight, gender, and whether you're drinking on an empty stomach. Food acts as a buffer, slowing down alcohol absorption. When you drink on an empty stomach, alcohol enters your bloodstream much faster, leading to a more rapid and intense intoxication. Imagine your bloodstream as a vast network of highways and byways, transporting essential nutrients and oxygen to every corner of your body. Now picture alcohol entering this intricate system, hitching a ride on your red blood cells. As your blood alcohol content rises, the party starts, but it's not one your organs are invited to. Alcohol is a sneaky guest, a master of disguise that can mimic the effects of certain neurotransmitters, the chemical messengers in your brain. GABA, a neurotransmitter that typically slows things down, gets a boost from alcohol, leading to feelings of relaxation and reduced anxiety. Dopamine, the pleasure molecule, also gets in on the action, triggering those initial feelings of euphoria and reward that make alcohol so alluring. But this party has a dark side. As alcohol continues to circulate, it starts disrupting the delicate balance of your brain's communication system. Your movements become clumsy, your speech slurs, and your reaction time slows. The higher your blood alcohol content climbs, the more pronounced these effects become. The human brain, a marvel of evolution, a complex network of billions of neurons firing in perfect harmony. But introduce alcohol into the equation, and this intricate symphony quickly descends into a drunken waltz, a chaotic dance of disrupted signals and impaired functions. Let's take a closer look at how alcohol affects specific areas of your brain, turning your usually sharp mind into a hazy mess. First up, the cerebral cortex, the brain's control center responsible for higher-level thinking, planning, and decision-making. Alcohol throws a wet blanket over this crucial area, impairing your judgment, inhibiting your ability to think clearly, and reducing your inhibitions. Next on alcohol's hit list is the hippocampus, the brain's memory bank. This tiny seahorse-shaped structure plays a vital role in forming new memories, and alcohol disrupts its function with ruthless efficiency. The result? Those dreaded blackouts, fragmented memories, and the inability to recall events that occurred while under the influence. Alcohol also targets the cerebellum, responsible for coordination, balance, and motor skills. As alcohol disrupts the cerebellum's delicate circuitry, your movements become clumsy, your balance falters, and your coordination goes haywire. Section 5. Lethal Limits. When one more is one too many. We've explored the intoxicating effects of alcohol, the disruption it causes as it hijacks your brain and throws your body off balance. But there's a darker side to this story, a point where alcohol's effects cease to be intoxicating and become deadly. This is the realm of alcohol poisoning, a dangerous and potentially fatal condition that occurs when your body is overwhelmed by excessive amounts of alcohol. The amount of alcohol that can lead to alcohol poisoning varies depending on factors like body weight, metabolism, and gender. However, as a general guideline, a blood alcohol content of 0.3% is considered extremely dangerous and potentially lethal. Alcohol poisoning is a medical emergency, 
If you suspect someone is experiencing alcohol poisoning, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Recognizing the signs early can be life-saving. Section 6. The morning after hangovers and their unpleasantries. Ah, the dreaded hangover, the body's cruel reminder of a night of overindulgence. It's a symphony of discomfort, a throbbing headache accompanied by nausea, fatigue, dizziness, and a general feeling of regret. While the exact mechanisms of a hangover are complex and not fully understood, several factors contribute to this sorry state. Dehydration plays a significant role. Alcohol is a diuretic, meaning it increases urine production, leading to dehydration. This loss of fluids contributes to headaches, fatigue, and dry mouth. Another culprit is acetaldehyde, a toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism. Your liver breaks down alcohol into acetaldehyde, which is then further metabolized into less harmful substances. However, when you drink heavily, acetaldehyde can build up in your system, contributing to nausea, vomiting, and overall malaise. Inflammation also plays a role in hangovers. Section 7. Times Toll, The Long-Term Effects of Overindulgence So far we focused on the immediate short-term effects of alcohol, but the real damage reveals itself over time with chronic heavy alcohol use. Years of excessive drinking can take a heavy toll on your body, leading to a cascade of serious health problems that extend far beyond the occasional hangover. Let's start with the liver, your body's primary detoxification organ, working tirelessly to filter toxins from your blood. Chronic alcohol abuse puts immense strain on this vital organ. Over time, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to a fatty liver, a condition where fat builds up in the liver, impairing its function. If heavy drinking continues, fatty liver can progress to alcoholic hepatitis, a serious inflammation of the liver. The final stage of alcohol-related liver damage is cirrhosis, a scarring of the liver that permanently impairs its function. Cirrhosis can lead to a host of complications including fluid buildup in the abdomen, internal bleeding, and an increased risk of liver cancer. But the liver isn't the only organ affected by long-term alcohol abuse. Section 8. Can you turn back time? Reversing the damage. The long-term effects of alcohol abuse paint a grim picture, but is there hope for recovery? Can you reverse the damage caused by years of heavy drinking? The answer, like the effects of alcohol itself, is complex and depends on the extent of the damage. The good news is that your body has an incredible capacity for healing. If you stop drinking alcohol completely, your body will begin to repair itself. The earlier you quit, the more damage you can reverse. For instance, if you have fatty liver and stop drinking, your liver can often heal itself completely. However, some damage, like cirrhosis, is irreversible. Once cirrhosis develops, the scarring is permanent. However, quitting drinking can prevent further damage and improve your long-term outlook. Beyond physical healing, quitting alcohol also offers significant mental and emotional benefits. Section 9. Damage Control – Minimizing Alcohol's Impact while the ideal scenario is to abstain from alcohol altogether, we understand that's not always realistic. If you choose to drink, it's crucial to do so responsibly and minimize the potential harm to your body. Here are some tips for damage control in the world of alcohol consumption. Firstly, moderation is key. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommend that men limit their alcohol intake to no more than two drinks per day and women to no more than one drink per day. A drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Secondly, never drink on an empty stomach. Food helps slow down alcohol absorption, preventing those rapid spikes in blood alcohol concentration that can lead to intoxication and hangovers. Eating before or while drinking can significantly reduce the negative effects of alcohol. Section 10. The Final Verdict, To Drink or Not To Drink as we conclude our spirited journey through the world of alcohol and its effects on the human body, it's time to address the elephant in the room, to drink or not to drink. The answer, like most things in life, isn't a simple yes or no. It's a personal decision, influenced by a myriad of factors, from cultural norms to individual preferences. We've explored the science, delved into the intricate ways alcohol interacts with our bodies, from the initial buzz to the long-term consequences. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to drink rests solely with you. Arm yourself with knowledge, weigh the risks and benefits, and make an informed choice that aligns with your values and priorities. If you choose to abstain, 
you're making a powerful statement about your commitment to your health and well-being. If you choose to drink, do so responsibly and with moderation. Section 11. A toast to knowledge drinking responsibly. As we raise a glass, figuratively of course to the conclusion of this eye-opening exploration, let's remember the importance of knowledge and responsible decision-making. Alcohol, like many things in life, is a double-edged sword, capable of bringing both joy and destruction. By understanding the science behind alcohol's effects on our bodies, we empower ourselves to make informed choices. We can choose to abstain, to indulge in moderation, or to seek help if our relationship with alcohol becomes unhealthy. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help if you're struggling with alcohol abuse or addiction. Let's toast to knowledge, to informed choices, and to a healthier, happier relationship with alcohol.